Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm back with the second week of June. We start from the 8th through the 14th of June 2022. This reading is going to be for the sign of uh, Libra. So let's see Libra what is coming up for you for the second week of uh, June time. I will be adding messages from your person plus I will also be adding uh, color cards and oracle cards in this read so stay tuned. And before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it is a general read, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there, so always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see what is coming up for you for the second week of uh, June. Ten of Swords, the Judgment, the Emperor, the Tower. I mean, the deck we do have Six of Swords. I do see you walking away from something, putting an, putting an end to a situation that was making you feel upset, sad, um, and was adding nothing good in your life. I feel like you know there has been a lot of pain, suffering that you've been going through, being in a relationship with a some a certain someone. You might have been going through a lot when it comes to a situation connection that you were having um, you are letting it end you are letting it finish you don't want to deal with the toxicity that was being added to your life because of this connection because of this person uh, you might have been waiting 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 hoping for things to change hoping for things to evolve but things didn't work out I feel like now is the time and you're gonna feel like okay fine I'm ready to move on I'm ready to move forward uh, and that's going to be the moment when things will start working out for you. Now, for majority of you, maybe you could not, um, you know, stop thinking heavily and dominantly about when is it going to change? How will it happen? And as you're letting go of that, as you're letting go of this person connection situation, you're letting go of that question as well. And when you are letting go of that question is the moment when you are going to start getting it all. Because you will not have that, you know, obsession about it. You will not have, like, that expectation around it. So whenever you are not expecting something, it always gives you some miraculous surprises. So that's exactly, that's, you know, uh, going to come through for you for this week time. Whatever has ended in the recent times, um, things are changing around that situation. If a relationship ended, I do see a reconciliation. If a uh, job got finished, I feel like, you know, there is some sort of promotional uh, opportunity coming up for you where you're going to be getting more raise more finances more uh, pay for for your capabilities and skills that you have so whatever it is like right now where, where you're like you know sad about a situation because of the ending that happened uh, in love work or home life situation it is going to revive to the to the point where you you cannot even expect this to happen um, and this is going to be miraculous and I feel like you know it's it's gonna be something where uh, you are going to find your um, desire coming to fruition unexpectedly so I feel like you know this this person um, who I see here that is gonna enter in your life during this week time could be this very same person that you're leaving behind who has changed. It can be a new person completely for some of you as well. A person who is going to add a lot of value to your life. This person is not going to drain you emotionally like this person did. This person could be a new person for a majority of you, I believe, because I do see you walking away from a certain situation during this week time. Um, and then comes this person who is ready to give you what you always wanted to have. So I feel like, you know, it can be um, the same person for some of you. Uh, but for majority of you, I feel like, you know, it's going to be a new person. Um, a person who can give you the happiness that you always wanted. A person that can give you the love that you always crave for. Now, this person could also be somebody who has been keeping an eye on you. Like, you know, somebody who has been... Um, like you know watching you from a distance as well it can be a secret admirer now as they see you breaking free from the 
caravan situation, they are going to approach you. They are going to be like, okay, fine, why don't you marry me? It can be the best friend that you have as well. But I do see that this person is going to be somebody who is going to be interested in you to get married to you, to give you what you want, what, to give you what you deserved. So for majority of you, I do see you walking away from a specific person, relationship, putting an end to that because uh, uh, you are done with it. You don't want to wait. You don't want to deal with it. You don't want to add uh, let it add tox toxicity in your life you are letting go of that person letting go of a relationship and now you're ready to move forward with your love life with something abundant to um come for you and this is going to be exactly what you waited for um so i do see a new opportunity coming up for you during this uh, week time where you are going to be with the with this very person who seems to be a new person uh let's see the messages from your person here let's see what do they have to say to you what are the messages from your person? If and when I am ready to commit, you are and you will always be my first choice. Now, it can be a message from the past person as well for those of you who are going to come back with the past person during this week time. Uh, but it can be a message from the person who has always having uh, feelings for you and they always decided like, you know, if and when they are uh, gonna get married they are gonna choose you so it can be that as well I should have been honest with you about my intentions I feel like you know, there has been a specific someone in your life who always wanted to end up with you but they could not open up about their feelings because of certain situations that you were having in your personal life now is the time when they are gonna open up about their feelings to you uh, when the time is right we will be back together so it can be an ex of yours as well for some of you you might be dealing with an ex and uh, maybe you are not you know in a relationship with this ex but maybe you are still in touch with them and this person was waiting for you to get done with the karmic cycle or something and that's how you're going to get together i relive our last time together in my mind so this person has been thinking a lot about you um but for majority of you i don't know why i'm picking up a new person's energy here but let's see some more cards about this person asking a few questions about them let's see is this a new person this uh, emperor energy is this going to be a new person is this going to be a new person somebody's changed it it, it is somebody that you uh, that you know already this is somebody that you have been with already be that in a loving relationship, be that otherwise as well, maybe as a friend as well. But this is not somebody new who's coming and entering in your life. It's somebody that you already know. So it can be an ex who's going to change. An ex who has uh, taken you for granted, is now ready to give you what you wanted. Um, it can be um, a, a secret admirer, somebody who had always in their feelings for you, but they never opened up. It can be that as well. But yes, yeah, somebody has changed. Like, you know, I feel like, you know, they, they have changed and now. Uh, they want this connection with you now. Uh, so let's see what colors are going to be significant for you or lucky for you for this week time. <clears throat> so we do have three colors. Let's see. Purple developmental clarity number 39. Purple with the pinch of pink is going to be lucky for you. It's very important for you to have the mental clarity around whatever it is that you want. Because especially when you are ending something toxic out of your life, you have to be very clear in your head what is it that you are up for. Uh, then we have Burgundy, Awaken Your Passion, number 10. It's very important for you to follow your passion right now. As you are dealing with the current uh, you know, uh, situation where you are feeling pain, suffering, because uh, the connection that you wanted so bad ended so bad. So um, it's, it's, um, it's time for you to um, you know, get yourself moving forward with your life which i do see you moving with the with the six of swords that came earlier underneath the deck but i feel like you know you have to follow your passion now uh and uh, you got to establish some boundaries with the brown color too i feel like you know um 12th of uh, this week or 10th of uh, this week could be significant as well for you when it comes to your love life decisions but i feel like yes i uh, i really uh would suggest you to Set some boundaries for yourself or for your, uh, you know, for, for your love life maybe as well. Because um, um, especially if it's a past person, make sure you don't let them treat you the way they treated you in the past. 
just know your worth and just know how you need to be treated this time around when they come so uh, don't let them take you for granted this time around especially if it's a past person so set your boundaries and know what do you want and uh, let them give you that then let's see what the oracle guidance is for you for this week time uh, codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life now for some of you i feel like you know you were so addicted to this person and it has always affected your love life in a bad way uh, now is the time you have to set boundaries now is the time when you have to detach separate yourself from this person from the situation put an end to the current ongoing issues by putting yourself first and uh, prioritizing yourself your self-worth first and letting things uh, be right now let it go let it flow um, instead of like you know trying to continue pushing forward with the this connection has to stay there or you know you belong to them they belong to you even if it's adding toxicity um i feel like you know just you need to think straight right now and uh, try not to let the addiction that you have to this person affect your life overall because i feel like you know it's um you might have been dragging a dead connection um and maybe it's time for you to let it go and let the right person who deserves you who deserves to love you and who deserves to get you uh let that person come in so um let's see last card of the read angel therapy give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens the divine really wants you to believe in them um and the god that you believe in and the spirit guides that you believe in and uh, let the burden off your shoulder around your love life situation and uh, let them take care of it so um you shall receive the abundance that you deserve so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for this read um if it was of help um do like share and subscribe and uh if you are willing to purchase any of the services that i offer check the description box for that and uh, till late the next read for you guys take care and bye